Oh. Hey, Mr. Lawyer. How do I look? The girls at the internship are going to love you. <laughs> hey, you two, the best hey. of luck, huh? Thank you, Mom. Thank you, Mom. Yeah, could I have a favor to ask of you? Uh huh. Uh, can you keep an eye on Dad today? Uh, I really don't trust that Sadala guy, you know? <laughs> and why not, dude? Istanbul is paved with gold. It sounds like the best plan for us. Uh, you really think so? You're, you're telling me the jewelry store is the best plan for us? <laughs> Look, you mark my words, that man is trying to persuade Dad to open a jewelry store just so we can push his goods for him. Check out another store from another realtor, okay? Okay. Will you do that for me? Okay, okay, I'll check it out. I'll do it after I get to know this neighborhood better. <laughs> We manufacture brand new goods. Uh, and how much would be necessary to open a new store? How many kilos do you want to get started? I don't know. If you can open with five kilos of gold, you're going to need to throw down 500 billion. And if you want 10 kilos of gold, it'll be double. You need to make sure But that we don't have that amount of money to work with. Uh, you have a house. Sell it and add the money to the capital. But the house belongs to Zaliha. She would never let me sell it. Look, Hassan. It's not easy to open a small business in Istanbul, so if you do it, you need to do it big. Every hero pays his dues. You need to find the money somehow. Fazl is my friend from the faculty. He became a professor, and I started here, as you can see. He praised you highly. That's great. Uh, come on, then. Have a seat. Hey, if you want, I can take you where you're headed. <laughs> you really want me to get in the truck? Do I look like a watermelon? Four wheels are better than heading out on foot, you know. Ugh, but really, sweetheart. My shoes are worth more than this hunk of junk. This car? will break down and we'll end up having to push it down the road <laughs> nice try but no oh, damn it brother sadula you think we can have a quick word i want you to go straight home i'll be back later this evening i have stuff to do lock the door and go to sleep all right dad So then? Brother, I don't feel right about this. I'm starting to feel really guilty, man. You're feeling guilty? Listen, I don't have time to waste on these kinds of things, Namik. You should have thought about that beforehand. But brother, we still have time. Namik, don't bother me with these kinds of things at this time of the evening. If it bothers you, then you can drop it. But don't think about doing business with me ever again. It's your decision. will become rascals over there, especially Yigit. People here respect him because he is the grandson of Mr. Basri. But he has no skills and no education. Nobody will even welcome him in Istanbul. My dear, we're in over our heads. We need to find money from somewhere. Can't we take out a loan from a bank or something? I don't know. We would need to pay back the money, plus interest. How about if we sell the house? What? Have you gone insane? I've dreamed of coming back here for 25 years and just settled in. I'll never let you sell it. Good evening. Good evening, my darling. 
I, um... Dad, do you think that we should sell the car? We're going to have to sell to buy the business. So who knows when we can buy another one? Good. Keeps on breaking down anyway. I thought that it was raining models over here. <laughs> I'm keeping this. Sure. But in the future, she's going to be your sister-in-law, so don't get too starry-eyed. <laughs> it can be my new bookmark. <laughs> hey, so what's the latest, huh, brother? I wish I could be like you, you know that? You want to be like me? But why? You have everything that people find charming, <laughs> especially all the women. Yeah. <sighs> I guess my uncle was right. I can only wield the scepter in my hometown. But you, wherever you decide to end up, you will have a bright future ahead of you. You have a profession, you have great hair. You'll see. Everybody is going to respect you, including the women. You keep making fun of me. <laughs> you don't even know your own worth yet. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Why don't you go and buy a bicycle? It'll be faster. Yeah, very <laughs> funny, bro. You're just jealous because you have to walk everywhere, huh? <laughs> if there's a junkyard for bikes, let's lay this one to rest. You've been working in vain on this one for days. Look at your hands. They're all filthy again. Here we go. You get your paycheck for just playing a few notes on your guitar. I'd like to see how your hands would look if you repaired cars every day and night. What paycheck? You know that I couldn't get the last one. I play, but is it worth anything? But I've made up my mind. You'll see, I'm gonna make an album one day.